Tonight, a plea from the family of Preston Lord, the teenager's parents addressing the ongoing investigation into their son's murder. This comes as the Queen Creek Chief of Police updated the town council on his department's investigation. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly is live in Queen Creek tonight and has more on what was said. Chase? Caribe, Mark, we're closing in on two months now since Queen Creek police submitted charges against seven potential suspects in Preston Lord's murder. But tonight, the chief of police and Preston's parents are calling for patience. Despite the time that has passed since 16 year old Preston Lord was murdered, justice for Preston remains a top priority for us. It's still the focus for the people and the leadership of Queen Creek. That we continue to work tirelessly to get to a place where this can go to uh, trial. Police Chief Randy Bryce saying what he can about this ongoing investigation during Wednesday night's town council meeting. While his department submitted charges against seven people in the teenager's death, he is still asking for anyone with firsthand information on this case to come forward. We're not done. We want to continue to make this a very, very strong case. Those words echo echoed by Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell. Please, if you're out in the public and you have information, don't think, well, the police have a video, so I don't need to come forward. We need you to come forward uh, if you have information. Her office continues to review thousands of pages worth of reports and videos shared by police before moving forward with indictments. But they are still looking for people who may have other videos or were there on the late October night when Lord was murdered. So if anybody has anything from that night, Yes, we would encourage them to contact the Queen Creek Police Department. Mitchell also shared this statement that was written by Lord's parents. They wrote they continue to get updates from the county attorney's office about Preston's case. They understand there's a lot of work needing to be done to achieve justice and are asking for the community's patience in this process. Mitchell then announced the county has received 29 submittals from Gilbert and Mesa police regarding other teen violence attacks. 13 are adults and six are teenagers, many of them connected to multiple attacks. Most charges are related to assaults, different classes of assaults, depending on uh, the type of injury and, and various factors within the case. Then just a few hours after this press conference, Gilbert police announced the arrest of two suspects connected to this attack outside a Gilbert home in December 2022. A third suspect in this case had charges submitted against them, but police are calling on the county attorney to order an arrest warrant because that suspect currently lives outside of Arizona. And late today, the county attorney's office announced the indictment of two other teen suspects believed to be involved in an attack that happened at a party in Gilbert back in November of 2022. We're still working to get information on that case. Of course, we'll bring you the latest as we uncover it. For now, we're live in Queen Creek. Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase, thanks. Tonight, 